prove it. I want to make Apache Wells before sundown. Yeah! Ha!
Well, Bobcat, how you doing? <laughs> Ready for another. <laughs> Get the bull, Roy. So, but so, so, I got you, boy. I got you. No, no, Roy, crush your hand. I got you now. Oh. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> Don't want to hurt him, Mike. Show? I say. Oh, Mike, you were just marvelous. You managed that bull barehanded. Mike! Mike! Tracy's back. Tracy? Why? What's wrong? He's in the house, wounded. Wounded? <laughs> Mike! <sighs> they started shooting. Didn't stand a chance. It's going to be all right, sir. Got all the horses. Tell Mike. Tracy, it's Mike. Who was it? I don't know. They headed for Dragon Pass. Make it for the border. Hey. What are you going to do, Mike? Get back the horses. Mike? It's our whole fortune, Ma. You know that. I'll take Roy and Bobcat with me. Please take care of your brother, Roy. He's so young. Don't worry, Ma. soft ground when they could have taken the rocks without leaving a sign. Strange. The tracks are making straight towards Dragon Pass. There's a freshwater spring down there. It's the only fresh water around here for 20 miles. It'll be getting dark soon. We'll camp there. Think we'll find them, Mike? Sure hope so. And if at least we get some mares back, we can run down some Mustangs and start a new herd. But that's going to take a lot of time. Hey, fella, this tastes like poison. Reminds me of those years I spent in the pen at Huntsville. Oh, come on. You've had a lot worse than that, Bobcat. And can't you ever forget that jail? <laughs> that's right. You go ahead and laugh, boy. I just hope you never... Don't think about it. You served your time. I served it all right. Ten years. All of it. Every damn day of it. Hello, Mike. Easy. You wouldn't shoot an old friend, would you? Who are you? Marl. Marl Maynard. I didn't recognize you first. You changed. 
Must be the Mexican mustache. Have some coffee, Marl. Uh, don't mind if I do. My kid brother Roy is Bobcat, my foreman. Hi, Roy. Bobcat. Marl and me rode together down Mexico. Last time I saw you were a mine guard in Bisbee. You've got a good memory. That was five years ago. And you, what are you doing here? Chasing down a herd of horses stolen from us. We figured the thieves would have to pass by here for water. And they haven't passed by here. What makes you so sure? I know what I'm saying, kid. And besides, you've got a hell of a nerve camping here this late at night. Why is that? Because the railroad. They don't own this here water hole. Water's free for everybody. That's not the point. The Southern Pacific has been hit two or three times lately. They've taken $20,000 and killed three agents. So now they're keeping an eye on the right of way. Yeah, they don't take kindly to people camping near their railroad. I'd advise you to move on. Well, thanks for the advice, friend. But no one's gonna stop me from having a snooze. I'm dead tired. Have it your own way, then. Nice seeing you again, Mike. I gotta be moving on. Maynard, hmm? nice seeing you again, too. You didn't say what you were doing here. I'm a special agent for the Southern Pacific Railways. Listen, Mike, take my advice and clear out of here. Besides, Bobcat's an ex-convict. He served his time? Sure, but it's still on the records. What are we gonna do, Mike? We'll try to get some sleep. I'm gonna have a quick look around. more used to us alive. Let's go.
powder tank till we get to the station. Fill it up, George. Sure thing, Henry. I always do. Sure be glad when we get this gold to town. Well, that cleans me out. Stay here with the gold. Let the other guards take care of it. Hurry it up. Here's another one. You didn't get far. I didn't try. Get up! Where are your accomplices? Accomplices? Don't play foxy with me! 
Sure as my name's Max Freeman. I swear, I'll get the truth out of you. Listen, Sheriff. I'm Mike Sturgis from San Manuel. I don't know anything about the train holdup. My brother Roy and me, and one of my hands, were tracking down stolen horses. Sure you were. You believe them, don't you, Max? <laughs> tracking down stolen horses, eh? That's the best one I ever heard. <laughs> Have a good look, amigo. Do I look like someone who'd believe a story like that? Marl Maynard saw us here last night. He can testify for us. I heard that one, too. A friend is full of resources. And who might this Maynard be? A special agent for the Southern Pacific Railroad. Jack! Coming, Sheriff. Go and ask Mr. Castleman if he knows anything about this Maynard. Right. Is this your brother? Roy, who shot you? I don't know. They shot Bobcat near the tracks. They grazed me and left me for dead. Mr. Castleman! Mr. Castleman! Is there someone called Maynor, Marl Maynor, who works for you? Maynor? No. Nobody called Maynor. You sure of that? Look, I'm the chief inspector of all the agents of the Southern Pacific Railways. And I said no. That's what we figured. Thanks. All these people killed. And $80,000 worth of gold coins gone. You think Sheriff Freeman will be any help in solving this? He can't help us. Freeman packs all his brains in his fists. <coughs> <coughs> All right, you better tell me before I get angry how you knew that train was scheduled to go past with all that gold. No one else knew. How'd you know it? I told you, I don't know anything about it. So you won't talk, huh? We'll see. You wouldn't like to see your kid brother get hurt worse than he is now, would you? A touch Ryan, I'll kill you. <laughs> talk. <laughs> Gonna talk or not? He's had enough, Freeman. The judge will take care of him. Sure. Murder, robbery, destroying public property. That's enough to get you both strung up. Or send you to Yuma Penitentiary. <laughs> you ever heard of Yuma? Most men would rather be hung than sent there. You might survive a few years in that hell, but he won't. Remember that. I'll remember, Freeman. I'll remember everything. And one day, I'll kill you. You remember that. You 
dog. Why don't you watch where you're going? That boy's never gonna make it. For six years now, I've been in this hole, and I've heard a lot of men yell. Believe me, he beats them all. Burgess, I think you ought to fill that up again. Get back to work. you'll scream like your brother does. What's the matter, Sturgis? Can't sleep because you're afraid your brother will hurt himself yelling? Don't worry, it ain't nothing. He'll stop. He better or else I promise you I'll shut his mouth. Why sleep? We ought to talk about the escape, no? All right. We must do more than talk about it. Let's plan the escape and do it right. Or else we'll crack like his brother did and end up screaming day and night until we die. If we manage to break out, we must still pass the desert. And after that, the bounty killers. If ever those coyotes got us, they drag us right here, tied up like animals. You're right. But it's a risk we gotta take. What about you, Mike? You going with us? You're a local. I'll take the rest of your watch. It's 
time you stopped making so much noise. I'll murder you, you swine. Hey, Sturgis! Move! I have a message for you. Yeah, I'm afraid it's bad news. I've just been told about your brother. He kicked the bucket. Of course, I did everything I could to save him. Want to look at his body? decided to break out today. We want you to go, too. I told you before, Mason. He'd be massacred. We'd be better dead, Mike, than in this living hell. Ah, that talking. Hey, Sturgis. We seen you. You'll have to work harder than that. But make sure you do a nice job here for Roy. You go ahead. I'll watch it. Well, how you doing, Sturgis? Get back there, scum! If I were you, I'd dig that hole good, eh? Savage don't want it. The stink of that kid's carcass around here. <laughs> I'll kill you!
Encarnacion. Yes, who is it? Encarnacion. What do you want, Andre? Come in. You are an impatient one, senor. Don't you recognize me, Encarnacion? Madre de Dios. If you're not a ghost, then you're Mike Sturgis. Who'd recognize you after so long a time? It's been a long time. <laughs> Just a moment. A uniform. You aren't a guard. No. You've escaped from the hill. You just escaped from the penitentiary. They've been searching the town. All evening. Have they been here? Not yet. Why do you come here? I thought it would be the best place to hide. So you come to me. A puta you haven't seen for years. Yes. I come to you. Gracias. Now, you better take off that uniform. I'll find you some other clothes. Well, Mike, how did you end up in that hell on the hill? Someone sent me there in his place, and I won't rest till I've caught up with him. Haven't you had enough trouble already? Here, it's the best I can do for you. Thanks, Encarnacion. Go get changed. They'll be looking for you. I bet you could use a drink. Yes, I could. Taste this tequila. I keep it for my best clients and my real friends. Go away! I'm busy! Open the 
the door, Encarnacion. Are you going to open it? Or do I have to break it down? Who are you with? With you, Miss Vida. I wasn't expecting you tonight. Why not? Because of the escaped prisoners. I thought you'd be on duty. We got them all except two. But they won't get far. I'm sure they won't. What the hell is this? My drink is whiskey. You remember that? Someone must have left it. It isn't the first time. Who? I ask men for their money, not for their names. I've always told you to keep Saturday night only for me. Bill Savage, alone. Wait, please. Have a drink. I thought you wouldn't come tonight. <clears throat> but I'm here. Let me go. Ah, no, you hurt me. Savage, let her go. My Sturgis. <laughs> Don't go for that gun. the window.
finishes him, not even a fish could get out of this river alive. We can report Sturgis dead. Let's go! Don't waste the water, Pedro. It's a long way to you. <laughs> Come on, Ringo. No, please don't take me back there. Please don't take me back to you. Shut up. I can't stand hollering. I'm a sensitive man. <laughs> I'd take you back dead, but they pay double if we bring you in alive. That's why I take the trouble, for the money, amigo. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos! No, please, not back a human. No, kill me first. No, please! <laughs> 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 Vamos! Anda! Madre de Dios, the other one from Yuma. Francisco, you take this one alive, you get half the reward. <laughs> the 
Didi, you will have to die. Take it easy, Mason. We've made it. Sure, Mike. But I'm taking another trail. It'll be okay with me because I, I won't have to go back anymore to Yuma. Come out. Castleman's gone now. I almost fell asleep in there. I don't want you coming around here anymore. I don't want Harry to see you. Not to mention Castleman. Well, they don't know who I am. Besides, I'm here on business. The boys are tired of waiting. They've already spent that second roll. We split it up. They want their share of the loot. And throw it around like that idiot Shorty did in NACO. Wearing this badge has taught me one thing. Even the smartest person ends up in jail because money burns a hole in his pocket. And don't forget that ours is all in $20 gold pieces. Tell them to be patient a bit longer. How long, Freeman? The boys would like a chance to enjoy it a bit before they die. Slim Murdoch and Pat have already willed us their share. Yeah. Everything will be a little easier now that Mike Sturgis is dead. <laughs> I'm not a ghost, Ruth. Oh, my. They all said you'd been killed. It was in all the territorial papers. The papers print lies. I never appreciated a lie so much before. You know what, Ruth? To me, the smell of home is something special. Something I'd almost forgotten. There's no one left on your ranch, Mike. Your mother died of a broken heart. It happened when they took you and Roy away to Yuma.
What are you planning to do now? Find Marl Maynard. And get my hands on the men who held up the train. Ruth, uh, have you heard anything that uh, might put me on their tracks? Sometime back, a man called Shorty was seen in Naco spending $20 gold pieces like he owned a mint. Shorty, you say? Mike, it's too dangerous. Naco is in the county of Sheriff Freeman. Sheriff Freeman's wasn't a bounty killer. He condemned us without giving us a chance to defend ourselves. He had Roy in the head with his rifle, where he was wounded. He said Roy would never last in Yuma. And he was right. God, how right he was. Mike, isn't there something I can do to help? Yes. Nake was a long ride. I'll be needing food and cartridges. I think I can bring you some supplies by tomorrow. But first, get some rest. I'm sure you must be tired after all you've been through. Thank you, Ruth. There's food for two days and some 45 bullets in here and tobacco. You're taking a chance. There's a jail sentence for helping an escaped convict. That doesn't frighten me, Mike. You know, I believe in you. I believe in your innocence. Mike, do you have to go? Why don't you let the law take care of it all? The way it did with Roy and me? Mike. No. I've got to do this myself. Well. You better go now. I don't like you riding after dark. I don't mind. I do. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, there is. Wait for me. Si, señor. Ah! <laughs> I am the only one with a machine to make ice here in Naco. <laughs> if the others want some, they must buy it from me. <laughs> you are traveling south, huh? North. No luck in the Sierra Madres. My partner even had less luck. Got killed. By a Mexican? No by a man who goes by the name of Shorty. Shorty. Never heard the name. Happened a few weeks back, but I haven't lost hope of catching up with him. He went away with my share of the gold. Don't worry. I still have enough to pay for the beer. Bring me a bottle. Whiskey, senor? No, tequila. <laughs> Keep the change. Oh, 
Muchas gracias, señor. What do you want? Delicius is with me. She was with you. You could at least have given him time to dress. Where's Shorty? Who said I knew Shorty? I meet a lot of people, you know, and it's not easy to remember. Thanks. Suppose I don't know anything. Wait, I'll tell. I know Shorty. That's better. Go on. The pig. He killed my man in a fight. My friend slashed him from here to here. He's scarred for life. Where's Shorty now? In paradise, with me. She used to work here. Bingo! <laughs> I'll go back to Delicius. Me to do. I'm telling you, Marty, that ain't my order. Now, I'm sorry. You just take that on back, you hear? I don't want it. Who is it? Is Shorty in? Who wants him? I'm Frank Webster. A friend, Marl Maynard, said Shorty lived here. You're May, aren't you? Yeah. Won't you come on in? Tom will be out in a minute. Tom? Yes. Shorty ain't here.
Frank Webster. I'm Tom Jensen. Short has never mentioned no Frank Webster. Strange. Yet we're old friends. What do you want with him? It's between Shorty and me, don't you think? I guess so. Shorty is in town now. May's gone to fetch him. You want a drink while you're waiting? Two fingers. Shorty getting any more scrapes lately? Like what? Like that cutting down a naco with the Mexican. You know about that? <laughs> Poor Shorty. It nearly ruined his good looks and all because of that gal, Delicious. You know of her? Who doesn't? And I can tell you she's sore as hell at Shorty. Something about some gold pieces. Must be Shorty. You got a match? You didn't say why you wanted to meet Shorty. Don't you move. Hear that? I got a cock 45 pointed at your belt. So, you were Shorty's friend, huh? You were asking me before. What do you want to know about them gold pieces? What do you know about Maynard? This is Sturgis' work, all right. He's more dangerous than a rattlesnake. I told you. I saw him in town. He won't get away this time. It was Sturgis. Now let's get it. Helpful in some way, mister. I was looking for a place to bed down. In that case, put your shooting iron away. The name's Baldy Morris. Mike Webster. If you fetch some more firewood, I can offer you a bite to eat. It's my guess you can use some food. It's been quite a while since I heard such a fine speech. Where's the woodshed? Out there. I'll get right on it.
and help yourself to some whiskey. So you're the expert on explosives? Explosives? Oh, sure. You've seen them in the woodshed. Yeah, I'm the best one the railroad ever had. I bet the best job you ever did was a dragon pass. Hold it. What? When you and your friends blew up the train and stole $80,000 in newly minted coins. What in tarnation are you saying? You're making a big mistake, mister. And besides, is this a way to return a man's hospitality? Where are your friends? Where's Marl Maynard? Maynard? I don't know who he is. And Shorty Yeager? I never heard of him, either. And you write to people you don't know. This letter sent to Shorty Yeager is from you. It has your address on it. Recognize it? I don't know nothing about all of this. There may be some truth in what you're saying. Otherwise, you wouldn't be holed up in a shack like this while they're... There? What do you mean? In this letter, you say you need money. In the meanwhile, Shorty's having a high time in Sonora with his pal Marl Maynard. They got the most beautiful pooters in all of Mexico. The stinking polecats. We agreed to leave that money at the pass for at least three years. The lousy buzzards. So you hid the gold at Dragon Pass? Sure we... You tricked me. I'll kill you for that. Hold it. Drop it. I'm not gunning for you, Baldy. If you want to save yourself, you'll tell me exactly where the gold is buried. If Maynard hears that I've talked. Maynard's far away. Shorty's dead. And I'm here. If I tell you, will you let me go? Sure I will. If I were you, I'd be looking for that money at the pass. Try to be a bit more precise. Three steps to the right from the gate, and then, if you like, I, I'll make you a map. All right. Let's see. Sturgis tracks lead right here. Roberts, Kelly, and Sims, come with me. Harry, you take the others and follow the tracks. We'll meet you in paradise. We'll be there with his body.
So, you spilled the beans like an idiot, huh? No, Maynard. No, Maynard. You think I'm a fool. Uh, that is, yes. But we can beat him there and take the gold. Sure. But first I've got to get rid of an idiot. Aldi, I'm gonna... No, Maynard! What are you gonna do? No, Maynard! You hereby appoint me the heir to your share of the gold, don't you, Baldy? No! to leave without saying goodbye to your old friends. Weren't you, Maynard? Hello, Freeman. Baldy talked. Mike Sturgis knows everything. Huh. And I was just trying to remove the money from here. And uh, keep it all for yourself. Freeman, half the gold is yours. You hear me, Mike? I hear you.
I told you I'd kill you, Freeman. Throw down that gun, Mike. You won't have use for it anymore. Now move over there. And no funny business. Get moving and fast, buddy. Nice work you've done, Mike. You've gotten rid of all my associates for me. So you had a hand in robbing the train. And don't think I'm going to share the gold with you. I wasn't looking for the money. I was looking for you. Well, you found me, haven't you? Now load that gold in my horse. It's the last favor I'm gonna ask of you. Before you put a slug in my back? I always said you were smart. I'm really sorry, believe me. But I don't have any other choice. I'm real lucky. When they find your body, they'll be double sure you robbed that train and forget the whole business while I'll be enjoying myself. <laughs> Not over yet. I always plan on killing you, but Yuma will be an even worse punishment. Go! 